So this is our language arts lesson um, presentation and our component was reading. Um, reading is one of the six components of language arts. It is said that reading emerges as children make connections between the sounds of speech and the symbols that represent those sounds and learn to decipher the code inherent to print to make meaning. There are various different ways to support students in developing their reading skills as well as various information for educators and teachers to know and being able to successfully teach students how to read. Um, okay, so this slide is basically like quotes um, that encompass powerful statements that critical readers or that teachers need to understand. So um, the first quote says that we believe that learning to read comes from an abundance of purposeful, meaningful reading practice. So basically what that means is students learn to read and they become better readers through practice and exposure to like a bunch of different books and types of books. So that's the first quote. And then the second quote is children begin to approximate reading behaviors. Um, when reading familiar text, they acquire print con concepts such as appropriately holding a text and left to right reading progression through repeated exposure and manipulation of text. So basically what that means is the same thing that students um, learn to read through exposure and then they begin to pick up those mannerisms of a good reader. So holding the book right and then reading right to left instead of left or reading left to right instead of right to left. Mm -hmm. So when they get these, um, when they get practice and exposure to these things and they become better readers. Awesome. And then we just added one little thing that was kind of an inference that we made that teaching reading can be complicated, but it'll take time and practice for students to become fluent. Yeah. And then this quote is talking or this page is talking about um, the five areas of reading instruction, instruction, so phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and text comprehension. So what teachers really need to understand is that these five components work together and they intertwine together for successful reading. So um, for example, fluency and comprehension, if students are not fluent readers and they struggle with decoding, so and they're just like trying to figure out what that word means, then they're not going to understand what the text means as a whole. So they're going to really struggle with those comprehension skills. Um, and then another example is like phonemic awareness. Um, that's basically like the building block of all reading instruction. So if students do not have good phonemic awareness skills, then they're not going to become good readers in the future. So what teachers really need to understand is that these components, all five of these components work together and they need to um, have all five in consideration, especially in those primary grades, so that students can um, work on all five skills and be um, good readers in all five skills. So since reading is so important, um, there's ways to like keep your student reading and making sure that they are reading. Um, Students need to have access to books that are at their reading level in order to get the most out of their reading. A way to figure this out is the five finger rule. Um, that is, you have your kid pick their book that they want to read, open it to a random page, and read one page. If they, well, while they're reading, they have to put one finger down if they don't know a word and so on. Um, as they continue, if you have zero to one fingers, uh, you put a finger up, then it's too easy for the student. If you have five, four to five fingers up, then it's too hard, and two to three is the right fit. Um, another thing is, is if your students are going to be reading, they want to be interested in the book that they are. Um, so, for example, if your kid's not into fantasy books and you give them a fantasy book, they're most likely not going to want to read it. Um, so that's something that teachers need to look for. Um, another main idea teachers might need to understand based on the state that they're in is the science of reading, which is something that Colorado is using. Um, so we got a lot of this off of the teaching reading in Colorado PowerPoint um, from Professor O'Brien. So the science of reading has a main emphasis on the phonics approach. There are multiple strategies in learning how to read. So that's where the three cueing system comes in. So like the semantic cueing system is like, does that sound right? Syntactic is, does that make sense? And graphophonic is, does that look right? Um, it says that we use systematic phonics instruction. So lessons are organized from the most simple to the most complex and new skills are built off of previous learned skills. 
Right. So um, for our handout, I created it for parents to kind of have a understanding of why reading is really important and how they can kind of help and aid their and guide their child into being like a better, more fluent reader. So um, I just emphasize that the importance of reading is that fluent reading influences comprehension, which is a necessary skill for children far into their future. Um, reading is important to develop the mind. It is essential to everyday skills and it helps us to discover new things. Um, again, the science of reading is compiled of five components that Bailey mentioned, which are and should be built upon. Um, so I kind of reiterate that in this and um, leave a little definition of each um, component of reading so that parents can better understand why it's necessary to focus on those. And then for my final part of the brochure, we add it in like at home activities to encourage fluent reading. So they're as simple as like writing letters to each other, having your child make up stories to you. Um, again, like Shannon said, like making sure that you're giving out like enjoyable text and making reading fun for your child rather than making it like a task they have to do. So just that, and I got a lot of the information from good old reading brackets. Yeah, and I think that ha handout is helpful for parents, and then it also would be helpful for like future educators kind of just to refer back to you to remember. Yeah, the absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay. So this is our demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and play through it. So we used buddy reading, um, and this is the video.
Okay. So our conclusion is that after viewing the presentation, some of the key takeaways that could you could take away from this is that language arts component reading um, is made up of five areas of instruction, um, which we have on the ha handout and um, on one of the slides in here. And then we also have that reading goes hand in hand with all the other language arts components in order to, for the students to excel in all of them, they go hand in hand with each other. Awesome, and then these were just the references that we used. Okay, cool. Uh, you guys think that was good enough? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I, think I was, I really should have turned my camera off during the <laughs> video. The <laughs> video, I'm like over here like. <laughs> I know, me too. I'm like swatting this one away from me. myself. I hate I know, it's so awkward. Yeah. So weird. Okay. Oh boy. I'm kind of sad this is the last one. Yeah. Not yeah. really, but I'll miss you guys. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. That's so nice. Yeah.